It was a big, big night for carnival lovers. The intergalactic crew of Chewbacca's returned to its original route in the Marigny and French Quarter. Be well with the Force, more than ever. Oh, hell. Oh, oh hell. Yeah. Something rookie. <laughs> Many of the crew's throws are homemade. I got a couple of them tonight. This is the first time since 2020 Chewbacca has been on its full route going down St. Claude Avenue. While businesses are happy to have the crew back, they are also worried about another issue haunting the city that could follow. Sam Winstrom looks at how they are keeping parade watchers safe. It's music to business owners' ears. Chewbacca's is back on St. Claude Avenue. I'm hoping that it is like a, a Kickstarter for like the rest of the year because it, it's been that before. Mowgli Peerless owns Arabella's Casa di Pasta and co-owns Cajuns on St. Claude. And while he's ecstatic to have Chewbacca's rolling on his street again, he says customers are worried about having their cars broken into during the parade. We have been getting a lot of phone calls at both businesses asking uh, if it's safe to park around here. And according to City Council's crime dashboard, there's been more than 600 car thefts in New Orleans this year and nearly 500 car burglaries. So obviously drivers are on edge this carnival season. Interim New Orleans Police Chief Michelle Woodfork responded by deploying more patrols to hotspots like parking lots outside Saints and Pelicans games. And NOPD's presence on the parade route was heavy, even putting up lights on side streets to keep parade goers and their cars out of the dark. It's that security that got Chewbacca back on its old route. We did prep all year long. We uh, figured out how to hire additional security. And so when it came time for filing our permits, we were actually ready to go. Parade goers we spoke with hope that those patrols, along with the already high police presence, will be enough to deter would-be thieves. But if it's not... I also would like to think that, you know, during Mardi Gras, everyone's a little extra happy. And maybe that Mardi Gras magic could give New Orleans a much-needed break. Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News. And car thefts have been a problem all over the country, not just here in New Orleans. According to New Orleans crime analyst Jeff Asher, they've more than doubled this year in St. Louis and Chicago. Now tomorrow, the crew of Nefertiti will hit the streets. The crew rolls through New Orleans East starting at 1 o'clock. NOPD Detective Sergeant Summer Turner will reign this year as Queen Nefertiti. We have updated our WWL TV Mardi Gras app. All of the routes for this weekend's parades are correct. Once the official routes for other crews are confirmed, we will have those updated. And you can use the app to track both Chewbacca's and Nefertiti and dozens of other parades between now and Fat Tuesday. Just search your phone's app store to download it for free.